Hi guys, and today's video is all about Tally Whale. So it's going to be a lookbook and a bunch of different outfits just wearing Tally Whale clothes. And I'm going to tell you more about the brand, show you some of my favorite things that you can get from Tally Whale. So if you want to see that, then keep on watching. My most recommended things from Tally Whale are their jackets. Both their material and denim jackets are some of the most unique designs, amazing quality. This is the first one. So it's this beautiful green color material jacket with a fur hood. This looks amazing on and such an amazing quality as well. It looks like this at the back. So it has a belt which just adds something extra to your jacket. It has few zips. The zips are quite like a statement silver piece. It's like a perfect length. It's slightly cropped. I love cropped jackets so I actually really like how this is cropped. And the quality of this is fantastic, very thick material, so it's definitely going to keep you warmer than a bunch of other material jackets. Next I've got this jacket, and this one, whenever I wear this, without a fail, I always get compliments on it. I'm not sure why, it could be the colour, I think this mustard colour is pretty unique for jackets and just very eye-catching, and like, whenever I wear this, people are instantly drawn to this jacket and yeah I always seem to get compliments from girls and from guys so it's a very popular piece that I wear. So after buying that jacket and receiving compliments about it I decided to buy the same exact one just in a different color so this is brown taupe edition of the same exact jacket with belt at the back some vertical stripes. These ones are sort of like a grey colour. has a tiny little pocket right here. Both of them are in extra small. I feel like these types of jackets look best when they're quite fitting. So when they're nicely fitted to your body, I think that's when they look their best. Plus, they're not the jackets that would layer jumpers and things under. And then lastly for jackets, I'm going to show you a denim jacket that's bit more alternative and it looks like this and I know from the front it doesn't look all that alternative or unusual or quirky but then if you turn it around this is where it's at so we definitely have a party at the back here we have a lot of different patches at the back I feel like it's definitely not a jacket that would match everyone's style Tally Whale actually caters quite nicely towards alternative people even though they have a lot of like other styles like boho and florals and things as well so that is very very varied with their fashion but yeah these are all the patches at the back as you can see and at the front it just has a few badges it's a nice balance you have a crazy back and then quite a plain simple front it has a few ribs definitely has a bit more of a distress feel to it but it's also a fitted jacket so it's not loose fitting it's definitely more fitted i got mine in the size 8 which is actually size up to what i usually wear but i still find this jacket to be very fitted for best value things from tally whale i would highly recommend the fancy party tops tally whale has some amazing fancy or party wear or club wear section and you can find some real gems in there that are actually very affordable. This is one of my favorite tops ever. I mean, it might not look like much, me holding it like this, but you will see on the try-on clip that this is actually very cool. Again, this top always gets so much attention whenever I wear it out. I tend to wear this for drinks out, for going out to a pub, to a bar, clubbing. I love one shoulder tops. I think this is a very statement piece, especially because it has a long sleeve on one side and then just no shoulder whatsoever on the other side. I also think this neck is very flattering. And of course the material itself is amazing because it's like very sparkly and shiny, very eye-catching. You are not a dress kind of girl or a skirt kind of girl, but you still want to look fancy on nights out then just wear a top like this. Another fancy top that's a bit of a different style is this one. So this one is again long sleeves but it has both sleeves. 
However, it has this hole at the front. The color of this, again, sparkly. One thing I would say with this top, I don't wear it as much as the previous one, just because it doesn't feel as nice. This material, I know they're both sparkly materials, but this one feels so rough and uh, just not nice to touch. I mean, fair enough, on the inside, it's just like a normal material, so you don't really feel it. But still, like if you were to touch your arm or something while wearing this top, you would just feel like, oh, that's a bit rough. And lastly, for fancy tops, I have this one. I actually own a lot of these types of crop tops from Tally Whale. I think when they first came out, I just liked them so much. I bought them in all sorts of colors and all sorts of patterns. But here in Leeds, I only have this one. So this is the only one that I'm going to show you. It's a very flowy crop top very girly, very nice shape and it has adjustable straps. It has double layers, so one layer on top which has this beautiful floral pattern is see-through but then underneath it it has an actual black layer like elasticated material underneath so this top actually isn't see-through whatsoever. You can easily wear this with whatever bra you want and it's not going to be showing through. One thing I would say, I get these tops very small. Mine is in extra extra small. I like them to be nice and fitted because I think they have more of a loose fitting vibe and I don't really like loose fitting clothing in general. I prefer things that are more fitted. So yeah, mine is an extra extra small. Now on towards the company best known for. I feel like Tally Whale is very known for cute slogans, cute images, um, just really cute designs and patterns and pictures that they put on their tops. I have two of like sort of the same series here. First of all, I have this shirt. And come on, like how is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? It has a little polar bear coming off of the pocket and it says free hugs. Whenever I wear this, people comment saying, oh my god, this is so cute. And I have to agree, this is like the most adorable thing ever. It's like a baby polar bear as well. That just makes me really happy. Very simple, simple, plain at the back. It has rolled sleeves, so it gives you very chill, slouchy vibe. And yeah, I love it. And this next thing is actually from the same series and it looks like this. So this is a cropped long sleeve top and it has a little panda bear, a little panda bear and says panda therapy. So yeah, it just, it's also nice how they've not only made like t-shirts or one style of clothing with these sorts of designs, but you can also find long sleeve tops, cropped tops, and all sorts of things with this on. This is also an extra extra small, and I feel like it's very loose fitting. So yeah, these come oversized. I like this sort of navy color of this top, and yeah, just really cute design with that lovely little panda bear. My most worn thing from Tally Whale is actually this pair of shorts, and I don't know why these have become so loved and so worn by me. But I honestly have worn these like hundreds of times. I had the shorts for a few years, but they bring them back every single season. I always see them, especially in the summer, I always see these shorts in different colors in the store. But yeah, for some reason, Maybe because they just go with everything and you know, sometimes I have very fancy tops or very fancy crop tops and if they have a lot of patterns and things going on, I don't want to overdo it and prefer something plain at the bottom or just for everyday wear, going for a walk, going to the shop. I'll just wear something like this because these are so comfortable. They are medium rise shorts, so they're not even high waisted, but I guess that just makes them so comfortable and easy to wear. And they look slightly worn, not going to lie, like especially at the pockets at the back, I feel like they do look slightly worn. But to be fair, I've worn these so much that I can't really like really fold them for it. And they were also inexpensive, so I can always just repurchase them whenever I want to, but for some reason this has become my most want her, which is very basic for me, but I love it. I have to be honest, I have never bought shoes from them 
and I have never been even interested or tried on a pair of shoes from Tallywheel. I sometimes look at them to see what they've got, but for some reason I just feel like the quality of their shoes is not quite there and in general I just wouldn't recommend their shoes. I think that's kind of what's lacking in Tallywheel, a good footwear selection because not only their footwear seems quite limited like they don't seem that many they don't seem to have that many options and if they have something that it's usually quite basic but also when they have something that's potentially quite nice it just pretty cheaply made in my experience I've never ever looked at a pair of shoes from Tallywell and I thought oh I might try it on oh they look quite cool I might try them on no that never happened I don't know maybe you guys have found some wicked shoes from Tallywell that I just haven't been able to find but personally just not my favorite and then for something random from Tallywell I'm going to show you a couple of their jumpers because I think they're definitely worth mentioning. They have a lot of cool jumpers and hoodies or slogans and things. And this is one of the ones that I own. It's a hoodie in this really nice yellow color. And what I love the most about it are the sleeves. It says famous insta famous, famous insta famous. I don't know, some people might find it cringy, but I actually don't even care what this says. For me, I just really like these white panels at the side and on the sleeves. I just think they definitely add something a bit more special and extra to this jumper, which I love. So yeah, it's not about what it says, it's more about uh, how it looks to me anyway. It has fleece on the inside, but one thing I would say though, I washed this in a washing machine once and this jumper hasn't been the same ever since. I feel like it did crease and thin out in the washing machine, so it's not just the material crease and I can iron it and it will be back to normal. No, the fleece on the inside is not as thick and not as soft anymore, which is very sad because when I bought this jumper, this was my favorite thing ever and I was obsessed with it. And then my second jumper is this one. The material of this jumper is one of my favorite materials on a jumper ever. And this is going to be so hard for me to explain because you won't be able to see it on camera. You will just have to feel it. This feels so smooth and so fleece-like, even though it doesn't even look like a fleece at all. But it just feels so smooth and cozy and like a pillow or a blanket that I want to cuddle. It has skulls on the on the front. But you guys, that has been for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, I made this type of video about Primark and Zara already, so check out the description if you want to see those. And if you have any other requests for any other clothing brands, leave a comment and let me know. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to me if you haven't already, and I'll see my next one. Bye! It's easy to set a young heart on the run To see it crashing out the sky, falling one by one